Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy and I'm so glad you're here today. Uh, today I'm doing a general session, so keep that in mind and take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer private sessions. All that information will be down in the description box below and my contact information will be somewhere on the screen. All right, so uh, all you guys who are who are new to my channel, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. If you've never watched one of my videos, I appreciate you being here. And uh, yeah, so, so weird right now. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to keep going though. I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to get two more. This is just a collective message, trying to see what's going on within the collective and, and all that good stuff. So, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Okay. So, all right. So here we have the six of swords. We have justice. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the hierophant. And we have the um, the Knight of Wands. All right, so here's this energy of moving on, okay? Picking up your burdens and moving on. Um, but, you know, the issues are coming with them, all right? So it's not like you're repressing or abandoning or, um, you know, uh, leaving leaving it for someone else. Okay, Um it's not like you're uh, you're repressing it or leaving it for someone else or running away from it. Uh, you're dealing with it and you're taking it with you. You're moving forward. This is moving into a different energy. So, um, and I think clarity is coming as you move forward. All right, we have justice here. So this is um, this is I'm feeling like a lot of self reflection here. A lot of gleaning wisdom from these swords and um, it's as if the hand of karma is moving in your favor okay it's as if the universe acknowledges that it's like you're taking your responsibility for whatever happened for whatever situation you're taking your problems and you're not throwing them on someone else you're taking the responsibility you're moving forward and um, the universe applauds that kind of behavior you know when we take responsibility for ourselves and our issues and move forward it, it really allows better energy to come through i'm feeling like a rising energy so over time, you may feel a little lighter. You may still have these, these burdens, these thoughts, these issues, but you're taking them forward, okay? So we have the Nine of Pentacles here, and this is really about someone who has come to a place, and I think this has to do with um, how the karma is playing out, how the life lifetime energy is playing out right now, okay? Uh, this is someone who has found happiness with themselves. And uh, I feel that this is a connection with spirit with the bird. And there's abundance here. There's prosperity here. There's happiness here. This is an independence that comes forward. So it's like moving into the power of owning yourself and being independent will help move this energy through. We have the Hierophant here and we have the Knight of Wands. And the Hierophant, I'm feeling... Um, the Hierophant is often um, a spiritual leader, someone who would give comfort, someone who would give um, relief from guilt, from, you know, someone you could talk to. And I'm feeling like um, there's an energy coming through for many of you with this Knight of Wands here, that this is going to be someone you can depend on. They may actually already be in your life. This is someone who you can open up to and talk to. And... Uh, um, there may be something about them that uh, you feel like there's some, what am I feeling here? It, it's, it's difficult to bring through. It, it feels like they're a friend. They could actually, you could be in a relationship with them, but somehow they're mentoring you in a way. They're helping you mentor yourself. That's what I'm getting. They're helping you mentor yourself and move forward. And I know that's, I, it's a concept I'm, I'm trying to bring through and I'm having a hard time like, communicating what this is but this is someone a friend a parent a partner someone who it, you're very attracted to with the knight of wands here they're very attractive um and there's inspiration here they're creative and there's someone you can depend on with this hierophant here this is a stable person who will help you get through this energy and move on and become your more independent self so if this is a partner this is a partner who encourages your independence this is someone who um, if you don't have this now this is coming for you and I feel like it's coming in probably faster than you think 
So let me get a moon card here. This could also be a, like a friend group coming in to be supportive as well. So I feel like there's support coming um, for this work here, for this movement into being independent, uh, having more than enough, and being happy. There's happiness coming forward. And I know that's hard from this Six of Swords here to the Nine of Pentacles. I know that's a hard move. And that's why the universe is supporting it. The universe is at play. And I feel like you're going to... You may not be feeling it now because I feel like many of you are in the boat and you're starting to just push off shore and go towards the other shore. And you may not even be feeling a lot or seeing a lot of synchronicities right now. And it's because the universe is moving. <laughs> they're, they're not going to... They don't necessarily always send you signs when they're moving because a lot of stuff is happening at a level that we cannot perceive. So, yeah, this is a deep happiness coming forward. That one, all right. Hold your vision. Okay, so whatever you have been working on, be it a relationship or, um, you know, something at work, whatever you've been putting your focus in, hold the vision of it, okay? Don't let this time of, of issues, of, of trouble, distract you from what you're trying to do. Because with the Hierophant, I'm feeling there's a bigger, there's a bigger plan at play here, okay? And I think you know it. I think you know that what's happening right now is a major life-shifting occurrence. And you may not understand that until six months down the road and you look back and you see what you went through, but it is helping you align with what you want. And I think many of you told the universe what you want, and this is part of it. And sometimes getting an alignment is painful. We have to face a lot of things uh, about ourselves and about how we are in the world and how others treat us and the reality of that, okay? And um, it takes time, so be kind to yourself. It's really important to get into this Nine of Pentacles energy that you're kind to yourself. Okay, you can't heal if you're mean to yourself. You can't heal if you tell yourself negative stuff. And I know a lot of us heard a lot of negative stuff growing up. We heard it, you know, in times of trauma. We heard it growing up. We heard it as adults, right? So it's really hard not to bite into that. But it's, it's vital that we get control of these Six of Swords. We get control. We, I feel like they, they gathered their swords. So gather your thoughts and put them in the boat and take them with you. You don't have to poke at these thoughts all the time. You can get clarity with them, okay? These negative thoughts, these um, actions, whatever they were, whatever these swords represent to you, underneath that is the true meaning. And that's what self-reflection is all about, finding the meaning, finding the lesson, getting the wisdom, and then we move on as humans. Humans have to move on. It's part of the pattern of growth. If you stay in this boat and you never make it to shore, you will surely never make it to shore. You will never make it anywhere. You will stay in the boat with your sword. So you have to be willing to move away from some energies and sometimes you know, it's hard. It's hard to hold your vision when you feel like crap. It's hard to hold your vision when you think the whole world is against you. It's hard to hold your vision when, um, you know, people betray you. You know, it is. But there's power in the ability to do that. So um, I feel like it's really important to get control of thoughts right now and not let them run away with you. And, uh, you know, don't repress them, but don't give them too much of your attention either. It's time to to learn which thoughts build us up and which thoughts take us down. And why do we keep going back to the negative thoughts? It's time to find out what that's about because uh, you're meant to be happy. You're meant to live a, a wonderful life. And for many of you, there is someone presenting who's going to help you. They're a friend, a partner. And um, for many, there's somebody coming in. Uh, and uh, But this has to happen. You have to move on. You have to move on before you can get... Um, to this uh, wand, Knight of Wands energy. So, all right, guys, that's what I got for you today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.